family, and I want to welcome you to Moments with God. I trust that the series on the secret place is blessing you. This is part seven, and um, we, we're taking our reading today from Psalms 119, verse 114. I'm going to say that again. Psalms 119, verse 114, in the New King James and the Amplified. And this is our reading, and this is how it goes. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. So we see the psalmist writing here saying, You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. So we see here that God himself, the person of Jesus Christ, is the hiding place. And he is our shield. And our hope is in His Word. So we need to understand the importance of having fellowship and relationship with God Almighty. Because His person, as we've seen in uh, uh, Series 5, and uh, we saw that His presence hides us. So we see the person of God is our hiding place. And He is our shield. And our hope is in His Word. Let's read this in the Amplified. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. So we see in two different translations, it is exactly the same. That it is him who is our hiding place. The person of God, the person of Jesus Christ becomes our hiding place. That is why it's so important to be in Christ. In Romans chapter 8, it says that those that are in Christ, there is now no more condemnation. So there is a place in Christ, in God, that we are protected. He is our shield, protecting us from words, protecting us from the attack of the enemy, protecting us from the plots of men, that He protects us spiritually and physically. So family, we can be hidden in Christ as Father God shields us as we wait for His promises to come to pass in our lives. That is why our hope is in His Word. We know that there are thousands upon thousands of promises for yourself as an individual, for your family, for your loved ones, um, for your business, and even for the nations. And whilst you are in the secret place, God hides you till the fulfillment of prophetic words and promises that God has made to mankind. That is so beautiful about God. He hides us protects us. Our hope is in Him because we cannot separate God from His Word. His Word and Him are together. You cannot separate them. You cannot separate God from His Word. When God says it, that settles it. Amen? That is why we have such security and assurance in God because when He speaks a thing, there, yes, there are times where there's ter- terms and conditions. Those terms and conditions is for us to obey and apply in our lives. And when we are obedient and we do the right principle and the right application, we will get the right result. Amen? Our Lord has raised His Word above His name. We know that in the name of Jesus, all sickness and disease must go. We know that demons are cast out in the name of Jesus. We know that the dead are raised in the name of Jesus. And God has raised His Word above that name. So we see the power in the name of Jesus, and we see the power that is in the Word of God. It is so powerful and so glorious. We see through Scripture, God sent His Word to heal us and to deliver us from destruction. So God's Word has been sent to heal us and deliver us. It's so powerful and so beautiful. When you open your heart to receive the Word and you begin to confess and apply the Word and practice the Word in your life, you will see the divine God results. If we cannot see how magnificent our God is, then I don't know who could be greater. I don't know who could truly bless like our God because He is creator of heaven and earth. He's Father, He's Judge, He's King. So when our Heavenly Father says a thing, it settles it. We need to know it is settled in eternity. When God says something, it's it's even before our time, and it will be uh, long after us. That is how powerful the Word of God is. We just need to listen and obey. Let me pray for you today. Precious Father, we just thank you for your word. We thank you, Father God, for your presence. We thank you for your person. We thank you, Father God, that you are so glorious and magnificent. We thank you, Lord God, that we can be hidden in you and you are our shield. 
Thank you, Father God, for protecting us. Father, forgive us if we have abused your word, if we have abused your presence for personal gain rather than just drawing closer to you. Father, forgive us if we have tried to manipulate and come with hidden agendas. Father, we thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you, Lord God, that you are patient, you are kind. Thank you, Father God, for your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, and the precious Holy Spirit who dwells in us and rests upon us as He continues to draw us closer to you. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. So family, continue to wa- follow us on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. Um, if you wa- uh, We've got other material there, and you're more than welcome to share and uh, let your world know what God is doing in your life. Help a brother and a sister out about the secret place. Have a blessed day. God bless.